Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for visiting me here back the corner. I truly truly appreciate you guys all. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I was washing the dishes and I am moisturizing my hands and cream. So I was thinking like, okay, since what well, is the new year like? Bundles of joys are really really happy and all of that and yeah we are getting ready to go back to school and all of that and yeah you know like when we have been having fun and all of that and we've got kids you know it's like just kids and yeah we visit with them we go with them places we go with them shopping we yeah uh, we go with them to other people's houses when we visit and all of that and yeah most of the times if not all the times things go out of control guys you know and yeah these kids they get to embarrass us in front of other people out there whether by the mall or whether by visiting a friend's place or a relative or anything like that way like yeah they embarrass you in a way that you would never think in your life and yeah you feel like you can just dig a hole and put your head in it like an ostrich guys you know and yeah like these are the kids that yeah we live with them in the house and we know their behaviors and all that and yeah like it's important like when you know your child's behavior that like even when you go out visiting other people or going to the mall or anything like that yeah you know you are comfortable with your child and yeah you don't need any element of surprises with when you are with them or anything like that guys right yeah but in most cases it's more like these kids when you go into a public place they tend to behave in a way that it's not pleasant in front of other people guys you know so like let's say you are visiting a friend and now these kids that's doing things that they don't even normally do but they are own houses guys you know where like yeah because they are a visitor they are entitled to do whatever they want to do and yeah even if yeah like they are fed while visiting and then yeah given toys to play with when they play with the whoever kids who they're visiting yeah it seems to go out of control and there's always fighting and arguing and all of that like yeah that's where the competition starts guys you know this is where like really really if we love ourselves enough yeah we wanna pass that to our kids and yeah show them that yeah this is the way to go when we are visiting other people's places Oh, when we are visiting the mall and all of that. Well, I know like some kids, yeah, can be controlled, but yeah, other parents don't care about like putting their play, putting their kids in their place, yeah, and teaching them like, hey, when we go out, this is how we want to behave in public, you know, this is how we're going to behave when we are visiting a place where there are other children there, you know. In our family this is how we do things you know when we go to the shop this is the kind of money we have this is the budget and all of that and yo i have i have made this experiment where like yeah i have given like boy 50 rand and tell and told him like yo we're going to the mall and yeah this is your budget 50 rand if you want to buy a toy and yeah the rest of the things i'll take care of food and all that but then there will not be any crying by the mall because this is your budget and whatever you want to buy it has to be this budget and not above it and yeah this is how we tackle our ways to the mall guys you know and yeah like things like that things like even when you are visiting other people's places but yeah you tell them no more monkeys will be jumping on the back because we don't want to be calling on doctors and all of that guys right yeah kids are really 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 precious to us guys you know especially like when they are really really at a young age we get to 
teach them all of these things that they really need to do. They really need to do in their life as they grow up, though, you know. Because we mold them as they are very young of age and yeah, they get to grow up knowing that they are, they are principles. This is how you treat a girl, this is how you treat a guy. Now, respect is always the way to go, guys. Respect, love and trust, yes, it's the way to go with people around you, with people you love, friends and family to avoid other terrible moments in life, guys, you know? The terrible moments is those unpleasant moments when they happen and you never really plan for it, like an accident or like something really, really, really unpleasant, you know, that it will happen and yeah that goes to show you that yeah this is the wrong way and yeah we need you to come back this side to return this way because if you go that way it's a long way yeah and even if you get there yeah you have gone the wrong way and yeah funny enough is it was a long way guys you know so yeah kids kids guys can learn them like okay since we're at the beginning of the year and all that there will be no bullying at school. There is no point on like not really sitting our children down and telling and telling them about this bullying thing and all that. How it affects them in the long run when they are adults, guys. You know, kids has to learn about these things. Just because kids are kids doesn't mean that they have to be told. Doesn't mean that we have to be on mute because they are growing up. And yeah, I know. Like we learn from our mistakes, but yeah, we have to address these mistakes to the children, guys, you know, because like you will never know like what kind of school these kids are going to and like with the bullying and all of that. If the other parents find out about the bullying and yeah, they report it, yeah, things can terribly go wrong, guys, you know, where like the other kid can get expelled because yeah. They were not taught good foundation when they were growing up. Etiquette, guys, like self-respect, you know? Self-respect, respecting you is the same as respecting somebody else, guys, you know? So, if you know you love yourself, yeah, you tell them that, yeah, you can never bully other people because that is showing a sign of weakness from your side, guys, you know? So, I'm not up for the kids who, oh, always misbehaving and don't want to listen and all that because yeah like as much as like we want to fix the problems of the world yeah it starts with the kids it starts with the kids because yeah the kids are the future guys you know and yeah once our generations are probably gonna be lesson and lesson and yeah these kids generation gets to lead guys you know and it, it's really up to us if we want to have good leaders out there in life or just people who just want to be always getting what they want through manipulations or being a narcissist or like not respecting other people out there guys you know we are raising adults and yeah we're really not raising kids so it's really important for us to really teach our children lessons as they growing up guys you know yeah before like we used to get grounded and all that for a week or oh, you do the dishes and all that yeah times have changed because there's technology now and all of that so it's really really important like as time changes yeah we change with the time as we reprimand our children yes they get to grow up with this backbone knowing that yeah i know what is right from wrong i know which is the way to go with life whether i'm moving forward or not and mainly it's all about respecting other people guys respecting other people's properties respecting other people's yards yeah and all that and yeah definitely because we are all different genders yeah respecting different genders around us you know? so life gets to be easier so we know that yeah this is the way to go and yeah like even when we know you're not home you know that you have left responsible people behind guys you know people who are always gonna always who oh, who's always gonna get your back guys you know who always 
going to be your ally and always make responsible choices when the parents are not home, you guys, no? Yeah, like it's the wind, it's like frantic, really, really frantic. Yeah, it's end of the year wind, guys. Right? Yeah, it's the wind of change. It's really the wind of change, guys. So, yes, guys, as we finish the year with the winds of change yeah let's change our attitude with our families especially the children guys fighting in front of them makes them be the other kind of people we really don't know or they are how they're gonna turn out to be in life guys you know so if we respect ourselves enough yeah i know that the kids what we do in front of the kids they go and model them outside in the street but what we do ourselves in front of the kids it should be a positive thing. Always be a positive thing. And never really tell a child to go bully somebody else out there on the street. Or go tell them to disrespect other people out there, older people out there on the street. Because the behavior we teach them when they are growing up, it's the very same behavior they're going to carry out with their lives when they grow up, guys, you know? So it's important for us to know that we are going to be leaving a long lasting legacy in the future for our children it's not like what we teach our children ends with your child because whatever your child learns yeah is going out there in the nation and yeah like yeah we know that nations are always watching and yeah when your child is different and yeah doing things different and all of that yeah, they become this great person who can be a leader in our society and yeah, be the best they can be and lead the nation guys, you know? Yeah, instead of having to raise minions and people who are always going to be crying for candy when you go to the shop or people who are always going to be trying to manipulate the situation whenever they get whatever they want guys, you know? Like yeah, we should learn to teach the kids that the past stays in the past we really really the past stays in the past and we're always working on moving forward in the future yeah in a positive way guys you know because if our children start a year in a positive note of course they're gonna end the year in a positive note and we should really teach them about life that really life is not about competition that competition is just really a waste of time and the best thing that we can do about ourselves is we compete with our past selves never with somebody else unless we are in a part of a team guys where like there is two teams playing and we know that yeah the best team is gonna win and yeah that's that's when i can think like that competition is good in that way guys you know so if we teach our children to always tell the truth and always be in their honest street, they're never gonna run to their parents and tell them, yo, somebody hit me out of lie, out of mal malice, and yeah, they'd be starting fights with neighbors and all of that stuff, you know? It's important for our children to always have peace of mind so they don't get too stressed because like, you know, a depressed child is a child who is really not happy and yeah, it's easier for them to really take up themselves out of this life because they feel like they are depressed and all alone and they have no one and yeah the best thing for them is the other way around where like we really have to be close with these kids we really have to learn to talk with them not really by the way of always blaming and pointing fingers at them that yeah they are wrong and all that. sometimes what we need to do is just give a listening ear and yeah the rest of the things can fall into place i know that like as parents we think that kids are expensive and they're always demanding on expensive things and all that but sometimes it's just us wanting the best for our kids and yeah we give ourselves that trouble of getting them all these expensive things that they really didn't want in the first place and when they get addicted to them, we blame them and claim them that, yeah, they're into expensive things and all that. When it's us when we started this whole thing in the first place, guys, you know. So, yeah, I know like that there's a whole lot of 
positive kids out there they just need to be nudged and yeah we post in a nice direction so like they always be doing good whether at home or visiting other people out there or at school or anywhere else guys so we really really need to raise adults who are always going to be fair and square who are always going to be doing the right things when they grow up and when they be saving us in the communities as probably lawyers and doctors where they're not going to be taking chochos and bribes and things like that guys you know i feel that whatever that is going on right here it needs to be washed away with what we teach our kids today guys you know if we teach our kids fairness yeah the world is going to be fair in every way it can guys you know and if we teach them to lie and steal and all that yeah that's how the future is gonna be guys you know lying stealing cheating and yeah who knows what's the worst that could happen out of that guys you know so the best thing for us to do is to always be positive and not really really be angered by the mistakes the kids make because all they do is they are on their learning journey same as us the learning never ends and there's really no point on really being angry with somebody who is learning and instead of like us showing them the right way to go and how to do things and all of that guys right yeah so let's give our kids a, a listening ear so they get to express themselves instead of not giving them an, a listening ear so they are, they go and be having somebody to go to out on the street where they can lead them to do all these negative things by like dating multiple partners or using drugs and all those negative things guys you know our kids are our future and the best thing we can do for us is to take care of our future however way we can it's starting to rain and yeah i'm really happy because it's the end of the year guys you know happy and yeah I am done with most of my morning and yeah, I hope yeah you get ready with everything that you need to do today and yeah, fix all the energies and get ready for 2024 where we're all going to be vibing high and all of that and yeah, positivity all the way guys, always positivity and yeah, that's the way to go guys, you know, we vibrate high AF. And yeah, we train our kids to be leaders and not followers for tomorrow because we know our country needs a whole lot of help that it can get. And yeah, when we do this for our kids, yeah, it's more like we fixing our tomorrow, fixing our kids today. It's fixing the problems of our, of our country, our tomorrow's country. Too. Yeah, uh, somehow it's been a tongue twister and all that. But yeah, it's cool. So, from me, Truth, aka Rose, yeah, I will definitely see you guys next year. And yes, if somebody didn't tell you that they love you, I love you. And remember to always stay in your truth and be authentic. And it doesn't matter what other people does out there. If it's around you, it doesn't matter to you. But yeah, you can control it. Like, what we can do is control what's inside of us and not what's around us, guys, you know? So, yes, let's stay in our truth and always be authentic. And, yeah, definitely enjoy the rest of the hours of 2023. And, yeah, definitely enjoy the rest of the weekend. And looking forward to a beautiful week ahead. And, yes, guys, enjoy the rest of your 2023. Because we are never coming back here again. It's just the same as the mistakes of this year. We are never coming back here again. And it's really, really toodle do to 2023. And yeah, welcome 2024 with open arms. And yeah, guys, let's stay positive and always vibe high AF. And yeah, let's be the best that we can be. I love you. And remember to treat our future with love and respect. So yeah, they give that back to us guys, right? So God bless all of you guys and happy, happy, prosperous new year.
and yeah definitely have a blessed one and peace see you guys later alligators <laughs>